What is up guys? Wraith here, Great Bearded Gaming Society. We decided to try to give our little Befallen here one last potential shot, one last go round if you would. But we jumped in and yet again, I mean there's there's 19 people in the zone. You got a whole group forming up right here, plus what's already pushing on. We are going to push on to greener pastures somewhere else. We are uh, as much as I would really love to finish the Shadow Knights on my own and move down and at least get to the third floor on my own without jumping down the well. It's just probably not going to happen. There's so many people in the zone all the time now that it uh, it just creates just too much too much trouble for doing what we're trying to do. And while we might be able to jump in one of these groups and get some some hunting maybe done that way, we've had just so much better luck in this particular zone doing stuff on our own. So we are going to run in a this early direction to start with over to the tunnel try to pick up some buffs some spirit of the wolf potentially and travel to somewhere else and see what we can get done I will check back in with you guys here in a little bit after I've made a decision on kinda where I want to go from here but we are leaving befallen as they say in the rear view. It's just we're not been able to get enough stuff done. We've been basically flirting with picking up level 16 now for quite a while. It's just been too inconsistent. Can't get enough kills. The spot we can consistently get into. We're only getting experience, a good experience on about one in three mobs. So yeah. Moving on up, moving elsewhere. We'll see what we can get. We will check back in with you guys here in a little while when I found hopefully a new spot for us to work on some experience and grind out here a little bit. We'll check in just a little bit guys Alright guys, we have journeyed across Kithakor Forest, a little piece of Lava Storm, we're standing at the door to Najena. Let's get all these out of the way first. There's still a handful of people in this place too, now this one is a little bit bigger. I'm trying to figure out what this guy's trying to get done, every time I've moved he's kind of tried to shoot by me, like so. So, tell you what, let's, uh, yeah, we'll let him do his thing. That way, we'll look around the corner and see what's going on over here. Yes, looks like he's been pulling away on that stuff. If I'm not mistaken, over here is like the tentacle terror things. And this is like the first little, uh, Oh, hello. Yep, first little entrance area. Unfortunately, I thought these guys were actually going to be a little bit bigger. Maybe they have kind of varying spawns. I don't know, this room typically has a bunch of skeletons in it. I think an ogre guard. But if we moved into a stack of greens, that's not going to do us much good. I know that we won't be able to go very far in this place on our own either. The rooms are typically packed much like the Fallen. The area is typically quite packed 
with mobs so it's very hard to get single pools in a lot of places until the room is broken up and and things like that so we will apparently get free buffs ah we did get some experience at least uh, let's see ow apparently we need to pay more attention to where we're going so I think we're gonna check around see what's like I said there's a bunch of undead right here in this area and an ogre guard. Question is, are they all going to be green? Or do we get any blues in the mix here? Let's finish off this guy. And of course, one huge advantage, aside from having our blast spell specifically to blow these guys up, of course, is undead don't typically run. You don't have to worry about a bunch of ads from a mob fleeing. Yep, yep, we've got a friend. All right. The ogre basha. So let's see. Uh, let's take care of this guy here. Gablau. All right, big boy. Take some Dwarven Fury. Of course, he is a nice blue shade to us. So we blind you. I think our biggest thing, biggest concern with this guy, actually, will probably be him wandering off behind us. So I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's pull him back here. And increase if he tries to walk the other way, he'll have farther to go before he gets to any friends. Of course, right now we're still trucking around with a nice so buff on. So if anything bad happens, I'll be training the hell out of that high elf. But I don't think it's going to come to that like right now. We're looking like we're doing pretty good. Come on. Of course, that's what you can see when you're fighting ogres. They just, they just have a ton of hit points. But, either way, if it's pretty good experience in the front, most of them are undead. Like, so once we get this guy out of the way... Because this is one dwarf you ain't gonna be eaten by yourself, champ. When I'm trying to get a beat on uh, the skeletons in, like, the next room or so... See if we get ourselves a nice little... Little spot to kind of pull into, maybe. And we're still close. To, and that's what I was worried about. There he goes. Taking off running. Sit down, Tubby. Of course, at the moment, our saving grace, I think, said that there's somebody in here somewhere who's handling the tentacle terrors. Because if those, I do not believe we can handle. I think those things are. Did we lose something behind? Yes, we did. So let's see. We got a couple more skeletons in here. Green. Also green. Oh, really? All right, you guys asked for it. So anyway, we're gonna putzy around here in the front and see what we can get. You know, we are going to be very careful, but I will uh, check back in here in a little while and with a status update, see if we find anything that makes it worth sticking around for a bit. Be back in a bit, guys. And suddenly, you are reminded about the little things that you forget in these zones. So, we sat down, killed, we cleared the skeletons kind of around us. We ah, moved into the next little room. There was nothing up. Somebody had actually come out and kind of passed us earlier. So, part of me was like, okay, he either cleared everything, or maybe there's just nothing in this room. And I forgot there are elementals in here, some of which are these guys, the mist elementals, which invis and ambush you. Fortunately, that only works on dead things, so we can't get our big nuke. Well, I mean, we're, we're doing well. We're holding our own. But, as you can see, there's another one over there. They're, they're dark blue. Apparently there's somebody else potentially in this area. I don't want to cause any trouble by getting in anybody's way. But that is where things can get kind of out of the way in here because like I said these guys stun and then those guys will root so looks like we might be encroaching on somebody else's territory ah, of course we did of course we did of course you, you guys aren't going to be anything but anyway like I said we came over we wanted to check it out we knew we wouldn't get super far in here on our own I said I thought these guys were a little bigger would give us a little bit more of a challenge we can sneak out a little bit of experience on them. I'm not sure it's going to be worth sticking around per se 
for what we can do on our own in here, but I definitely wanted to check it out because, like I said, I remember there being some undead at the door. And again, I know that like if you go straight through the guardhouse room to the next room, there will be nothing we can do there because those tentacle tears, if I'm not mistaken, I think those guys are like level 20 to 22. They're pretty tough, plus they stun. They drain lives if they have the whip, so they're, they're hard to deal with. But... I think we will finish these guys off right back up. We went, hey, look at that. We got our level. Awesome. No new spells, of course, this level. We just spent forever trying to get our spells from last round. But every little bit of hit points and skill ups will count. So, we managed to get a level, at least in our little adventure. And I don't think we're going to stick around here, honestly. Um, like I said, it's, you get too much further past this area. And I know that there's it opens back out into, like... Basically like an underground... Oh, hello. Apparently somebody's got some stuff going on. But it opens back out and you end up almost like a, like a castle entrance area back here in these caves. And I know that there's magicians and elementals that guard those, but there's tentacle terrors on the sides. And those will be the biggest things that keep us from exploring kind of too far right now. But I think we're going to beat this guy up. We might beat stuff up here on the zone for just a little while longer so we're probably not going to stick around I think that'll be a pretty good spot to call it an adventure for the night don't forget if you like what we're doing to like comment and subscribe down below if you're doing the challenge yourself how goes it for you guys but we're going to call it a night got a level got some adventure had some good times until next time guys have a good night